Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is having a great day. It is your Simply Fit Nurse. Today, we are going to do a beginner's run through of the squat rack, plates, and the barbell. As you can see, I'm leaning on my barbell right now and you guys are actually inside the squat rack that I own. I think this can be an extremely intimidating thing for a lot of new gym goers. I know it was for me when I first started using it, but let's jump in. I'll talk to you guys through it. We'll show you how to use it. Hopefully this will help alleviate any anxiety you're having about it. And then you may, the next time you go in the gym, feel more comfortable going over and playing with this stuff. So let's jump in. All right, different angle. So gave you a little bit of a view of the entire squat rack. A couple of things to bear in mind about my squat rack. I actually have a half squat rack. You can get a full squat rack or a half squat rack. The full ones are the full boxy cages one. I will post a picture up here so you guys can see it. Mine, it does have four different uprights, but this back one is used primarily for weights. Let's chat a bit, a little bit about the anatomy of it. So hopefully it makes more sense to you guys. You obviously have your base, which I will send a picture right up here for you guys so you know what that looks like. There's a couple of different base options you can get if you're looking for a squat rack. Some of them are just flat and sit right on the floor, while other ones actually bolt down into the ground. Uh, as most of you guys can tell from my videos, I am in a carpeted office in my upstairs room, so I don't bolt mine to the floor. That's definitely something you would need to like put in a garage or a different room in your house. These are uprights. There are different holes and they are all numbered. You're going to move your bar up and down on the uprights depending on what movement you're doing. These are J hooks. This is what actually holds your bar in place in between sets. Also a great place to put the bar when you're loading weights. Pretty straightforward how you use J hooks. Put it in sideways and then it locks into place. So there's a protection back here and it's not gonna come out. Those are J hooks. Next is pegs. That is these guys right here. This is what actually holds your plates so you don't have to hold them on the ground. This is a plate. This is a little two and a half pounder. It's got a hole in the middle that actually goes onto the barbell itself. And then you actually have some grips right here. So if you're lifting a really heavy one, like the 45er down here, you can actually hold it with two hands. Lastly, up there is a pull-up bar. This connects to the rack itself. And what's really nice is it has two different grips to where you can actually grip neutral, pronated, or supine. Totally your preference. All right, so that's the anatomy of the squat rack. Let's chat about the barbell right here. A Couple of things about the barbell is you'll see this long section right here. This is actually where you would hold the barbell in any lifts that you're doing. This is called the shaft. This is the sleeve. This is where the weights are racked onto the barbell. This is the bearing or the brushing. This is what holds the weight so they don't slide onto the shaft. This right here is the end cap of the barbell. Let's chat a little bit about my barbell, what it is, and chat about other options you can get if you're looking. So I have an Olympic sized barbell. Mine is seven feet long and it is 45 pounds. It has a max weight of a thousand pounds. Not that I'm ever going to be lifting that. There's another kind of barbell called a standard barbell. This is something that's often used for lifters who aren't lifting as heavy. It's around five to six feet, usually somewhere between 15 and up to 25 pounds, but it has a significantly decreased weight limit. It's actually at max weight capacity between 100 and 200 pounds. Lastly, I wanted to bring to your attention this coarse part of the barbell right here. This is actually called the knurling and you'll see it runs on both sides of the barbell itself. The primary reason for that is for grip. This really helps keep your grip stable on the barbell, especially when you're lifting heavier loads. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys how to actually rack the weights onto the barbell itself. So here we've got a little five pound plate. Go ahead and load that here. And then this, is actually called a clamp. This is actually what holds the weight on. So if the barbell moves at all, the weights don't slide off. It actually goes on. And then this clamp comes down and clicks into place. 
I hope you enjoyed this beginner's anatomy course of the barbell and squat rack. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. I'm happy to answer and also share resources on how I learned about all of this stuff. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.